Welcome to Support Quick Launch for Control-M. In this video, you will learn about the various types of Control-M documentation and the different ways you can access, download, and view documentation. Control-M documentation comes in several formats, including online, video, and PDF, as well as context-sensitive help within Control-M itself. The first way to access documentation is by going to bmc.com support. To gain full access to the site and content, it is best to log in first using the link here. Once at the Support Central page, click on the documentation link. This will take you to docs.bmc.com where you will click on Control M under Popular Documentation. The Control M documentation portal is the hub that centralizes all Control M content and is something you should consider bookmarking for future use. At the top, you have quick access to the full suite of online help for all currently supported versions of Control M both for distributed and mainframe products. These pages contain all the latest information as they are updated on a continual basis. Clicking a link such as Control M 9.0.19 opens a new tab in your browser to documents.bmc.com where you now have access to installation and administration guides, add-on and plug-in documentation, and much more. Further down the hub, you'll see references to Control M Automation API which is a product used by DevOps teams to automate functions programmatically. In the Control M Videos area, you will see videos with overviews of various Control M features. On the BMC Control M YouTube channel, many topics are covered in Control M webinars, self help, and how to videos. As you continue scrolling down, clicking Release Notes will show you a page to access the recent notes for each version of supported product releases. This is a good place to find detailed information on fix packs, product enhancements, and corrected problems. Just below will be where you can download PDF versions of those same release notes to your local system. Below the release notes information, you can link to the A to Z list of all products BMC offers for access to individual product pages. The Control on mainframe and distributed product pages, though, are categorized for quicker access. For example, if I select Control M Enterprise Manager, we will see that the product page and related information is brought up here. Here you can see all currently supported versions, including their support status, release date, and the end of support dates. If I click on a specific version, a detailed page is displayed and gives another way to access release notes and technical bulletins specifically for this version, as well as downloadable PDF versions of individual documents at the bottom. Notice, too, that you can find operating system and database compatibility information specifically for this version at the top. At the bottom of the Control M portal, you will find current conversations from other customers like you from the BMC Communities Forum. Finally, there is information regarding the Assisted Migration Operation Program, known as Amigo, where the support team helps you with planning for a future upgrade of Control M. The following links detail this program both for Control M distributed and mainframe products. Once you have Control M installed, you can access the same online help we saw earlier directly from the Workload Automation GUI client. From any main screen, you can either click the Help or Welcome Page buttons at the top right. Clicking Help or hitting the F1 key brings up context sensitive online help showing relevant information for the screen you are currently on, such as the tools domain here. This will be pulled either from documents.bmc.com, like we saw earlier, or if there's no internet access, will bring up local help files. As you can imagine, the internet versions will be the most up-to-date, though. Clicking the Welcome page is another way to access videos and information on various topics, ranging from control and overviews to specific functional examples. Don't forget to scroll down this page to see all content. Thank you for your time, and I hope this helps you understand the various ways to find Control-M-related documentation.